Hello, welcome to my channel Mechanical Engineering Concept. Today I am continue my previous topic which is dynamics of fluid in which I am going to discuss about Adler's equation of motion which I am discussed in early classes of basics. I am going to derive the Adler's equation of motion. So derive, to derive the Adler's equation of motion considering a fluid element, length ds and cross section area is da in which one at one end of a fluid element pressure into area it means load acting pressure into da why da is considering here because the pressure is acting at a this cross section area da on the other hand the pressure will increase with respect to dp by del p by del s into da ds p here weight of fluid is acting downwards which is mass into gravity we know that mass uh, density is the mass upon volume volume here is da into ds so rho g da ds will be the weight of the fluid because once again i am repeating weight is equal to mass into gravity Mass can be written as volume into density. Density here is rho, density of fluid, and volume can be written as T into ds. Da will be the cross section area, ds will be the length of the fluid. So the total volume will be Da into ds. So <coughs> considering the equilibrium condition, so dp, sorry, p into da minus because on the other end of the fluid end the pressure will move in the uh, other direction on the uh, opposite direction so p plus del p by del s into ds into da minus weight component will be taken in here as a component of theta so rho g da ds cos theta equal to accelerating acceleration because here the flow will occur from here to here like this like this yes. okay so mass into acceleration will be written as rho into volume density into volume density here is rho volume will be d into ds acceleration will be of flow is a into s a s as will be subscript so simplify this equation the resulting equation is counted as this because P and D A will be cancelled from the both end. The resulting equation will be this. A S can be written as D V by D T derivative of velocity with respect to time. Simplifying partial equation partially. So del V by del S by D S by D T is equal to del V by del T. Because here the velocity flow will be negligible consider because a steady flow condition I am assuming so due to steady flow condition del V by del T will be equal to 0 so the resultant will be del S del V by del S by T S by DT DS by DT can be written as velocity velocity component V D del S by del V by del S resultant so putting this here and taking here are the equation of P minus T del P by del S del S by del A from this term and rho G D A D S constant will be here and from to right to right hand side will be this yes we put in from here dividing both the end with respect to rho D A D S with respect to rho D A D S from both end so dividing this we can resulting our resultant equation will be like this because from here da ds will be cancelled out 
Thank you.